Welcome back to KSL Outdoors. I'm Adam Eco along with Sam Farnsworth. And Sam, uh, you've filleted fish before, but it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a little bit, and uh, I know you're going to teach me some new tricks, though, to help me get a, get a cleaner slice there. Hopefully, right. hopefully no, not leave any meat behind either. Right? <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, so we're going to show you today how to fillet them. That when we're going to set them up, do a brine, and actually smoke the fish. Let's get on it. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Some guys come from the tail back. I actually go from uh, just behind the gill plate here and cut down straight down to the till you feel the backbone. Mm -hmm. Then you just turn your knife. And you always want to make sure you have a really sharp knife. And you try and do this in one or two cuts. So there's one cut. Let's see if we can get it another cut. There we go. That easy. And there you got a nice fillet. Once you get to this point, now you have to get rid of these rib cage bones. So to get rid of the rib cage, just slide your knife right behind the ribs there. You're trying to keep as much as that meat intact underneath and just like that, it's off. Okay, now so now we've got a nice fillet. The one thing we want to get rid of are the pin bones. You can cut those out with a knife, but a clean pair of needle nose works just as good. All you do is put your needle nose right there and pull them out. Yeah. Now there's a few of them there. It takes a little bit of getting used to. My hands are cold, but there you go. You usually, once you get better at it, you can get two or three at a time. Okay, they're all gone. That fish is ready to be smoked or to be just put on the grill. I'll get them ready to smoke, so I'll usually do them in thirds. There we go. What we do now is we're gonna uh, do a dry brine. So it's usually three parts sugar, so I'm using brown sugar, and they usually call for one cup. So I've got three cups of sugar in here. They usually call for one cup of salt. I don't like that much salt. I'm just gonna use a half a cup. Okay. Okay. Now you wanna use, obviously, brown sugar, but you also wanna use um, kosher salt, and then just uh, spin it in here really good. Okay, so before we put these fillets in the glass pan, make sure it's either glass or plastic, don't ever use metal. I don't know why that is, but someone told me that once. Um, we rinse the fillets and we pattern them down with some paper towels so they're dry as possible. And then all we do is we spread this salt and sugar on it. So spread it on there evenly, try and make sure we got salt and same amount of salt in each of them, and just cover the fillets. Just for flavor, I like a little garlic powder. Garlic is always good. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And actually, a lot of garlic powder. So again, we're set to go. I'll cover this now, put it in the fridge, uh, eight to 10 hours, and all you'll see, it'll just be a gooey mess, and I'm gonna take it out, and it'll, I'll need to rinse them. Okay, so after you've rinsed and dried those fillets off, I'm just gonna cover them back up, put them back in the fridge for two hours. So you know that these are ready to be smoked uh, just by touch. So what you do is you pull them off and if they, they feel tacky, like wet paint on a wall, they're ready to be smoked. So I set my Woodwind Camp Chef pellet grill to low smoke and I'm just using competition blend pellets from Camp Chef. Uh, we're gonna try and get these fillets to about 145 degrees. All right, the last thing I do, and I think it's one of the best things that I do for uh, salmon fillets, is I put a little uh, apricot jam on it for the last 20, 30 minutes of the smoke. Just a sweet flavor to the fillets, and I love it. My kids love it, my wife loves it, and this is only for the last half hour. All right, the salmon are done. As you can see, there's no uh, white oozing coagulated protein you see sometimes on your salmon if you overcook them or cook them too fast. Albumin, I think they call it, so I'm excited for Sam to try them. What do you think? Give them a whirl. Well, they smell great, they look great. Not bad. I know it's gonna taste great, and it does. It yeah. is amazing. Not bad, can you taste the apricot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really good. I was really looking forward to this from the moment we pulled them into the boat. <laughs> to now. Oh my it's God. a little bit of work. I mean, it's a lot of work. I think it's well worth it once this hits your taste buds <laughs> because you don't have to deal with the bones. Yeah. It's it's perfectly done. I mean. That's good. It's a little overdone in what I, what I normally do, but my wife likes them a little more done. So I know this uh, recipe isn't perfect. It's something I've just messed with over time and I got it offline. And so if you have any suggestions, boy, I'd love to hear them because I'd love to make my fillets tasting even better. So if you haven't tried it, give it a whirl.